Anik Dodi, one of the pacers uh, for half marathon. He was pacing for one hour, 45 minutes uh, bus. So, uh, Manik, how was your experience? Fantastic, as always. I'm sure, uh, you know, while pacing, a lot of people, a lot of pacers face a lot of challenges right. with the runners. Yeah. So, uh, tell us about the challenges that you have uh, been facing. You know, you, you as, as in you shared that uh, you have paced for 10 uh, marathons. Half marathons. As, ha, 10 yeah, half marathons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So share that uh, challenges with us. See, it's, um, uh, the challenges are quite unusual. Uh, it's because you normally, uh, you run at a faster pace. Uh, I normally prefer pacing for, uh, you know, a pace which is, uh, or a timing which is 15 minutes slower than mine. So my PB is for 130. So I pace for two hours, I pace for 215, I pace for 130. I find that it's slightly more stressful because that, that's significantly slower than your pace. So 140, that's why is uh, pretty okay because that's my usual training pace. Uh, it is the easy pace that I run on. But uh, having said that, and okay, so when we are doing pacing, and if I'm doing pacing for the 145 bus, which means I should complete my half in between 144 and 145. You can't be faster than that. You can't be slower than that. Now the challenge that comes here is people who are running with you. At times they misunderstand that uh, if they are running with you and they have joined your bus, even if they slow down or stop, you have to be with them. So it's difficult to explain every runner every time that uh, it, I'm supposed to finish within the stipulated time. I can't finish slower than one, uh, faster than 144 and I can't do it slower than 145 because that's the target. And uh, at times it also happens that uh, there are many people who start with you uh, but midway down the line you are left alone or at times towards the end. Uh, but then there are new people who probably join you because they were probably running for a faster target but they lost it midway. So they, the moment they see you, uh, they see a pacer for 145, they also get energized. They see scope of at least meeting the second best target. So that, that means you still have to be within your target. You have to be running between 144 to 145. You should not be faster, you should not be slower. And um, having said that, uh, everybody has, everybody's body has a different level of uh, hydration. Yes. A uh, lot of people ignore that, they don't understand. They have water when they get thirsty. I keep telling them you should have water before you get thirsty because if you're thirsty that means you're already dehydrated. So the damage is already done. So in my run I normally plan uh, at least 4 to 5 water breaks and I keep a 10 to 15 second buffer because I encourage people to slow down before the water station, grab water and then start, uh, you know, gradually start uh, increasing your pace. You should slow down easily, you should not suddenly slow because that puts pressure on your knee. That's, that's normally what happens with people. Uh, at times people will not have water at that moment because they'll say we want to stop at the next one. Yeah. And they don't understand because by then they are already dehydrated. Yeah. So that takes a while. I try to encourage people, I try to share my policy uh, a couple of days before uh, on the Facebook. Uh, on the start day again talking to people. Uh, it takes a while. You have to tell people uh, how to how to you know adjust to that. And I keep my pace gradual, uh, you know very consistent. I don't, when I run myself I'll be running uh, faster and I might end up doing negative splits in the second second half but a starter or a not so experienced enough will not do that because he's not used to it so he will naturally slow down in the end so although I maintain a gradual pace uh, a smooth pace throughout but I keep a buffer of about five to ten seconds which I get to play with in the end which I don't tell the runners because if you tell them they'll say you're faster but that is what helps them in the end and that is what helps me help them finish in the right time because you know you you get a, a a setback at about 18 kilometers mark and if at times i realize people who are running comfortable beyond that mark so i push them to go forward they need not stay with me because i'm anyways there to support them but if i see they're running comfortable their breathing is fine i don't see any injury i encourage them to go forward and they might be able to finish half minute or one minute faster than my target and uh, i think that's what we did today i Last eight, last three kilometers, I was able to push about five people. Last two kilometers, another four people. Yes. And in the last 500 meters, another three people. So in the end, there were about uh, nine runners who finished between 142 to 144.10. So that's target achieved. All of them got their PB. There were two of them who were, who were first timers. Uh, three of them jumped their target uh, personal best by 20 minutes. That's enough motivation for me. And that's enough motivation for me as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And being 
an ambassador at Millennium City Marathon and again a pacer. So there were a lot of responsibilities. Yes, there were. So share a little about that. Um, I think uh, most of the other ambassadors did a much, much better job than what I did. I was busy um, uh, working on other things also. But yes, um, I think the idea when they make you pacers is to uh, spread the awareness. When you spread the awareness, uh, it is not just about getting more people to register. It is also about, uh, about encouraging people, spreading awareness about fitness, a better fit, fit lifestyle. Uh, in Gurgaon, uh, MCM, the target is also to increase awareness, to uh, reduce pollution. We, uh, we are trying to make this place uh, a safer and a cleaner place so that this can become uh, a natural habitat for, for runners and cyclists. Uh, it is a fantastic initiative that uh, this team has taken. They also contribute with certain NGO. Uh, and uh, I think this is just a segregation and the kind of response we see, the kind of professionally managed event we see, uh, they have a long way to go. Fantastic. All the best to the team. All the best to you too. Thank you so and much. And thank you, uh, Manik, for being with us on Just Press Sports. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you so much. All the best.